With the autumn season in full effect, the residents of Connecticut are not getting as colorful of a fall as they usually see. I am a, I'm a lab a junior lab technician, if you, that's my title. Well, we in Connecticut, we are used to seeing maple trees, a big red color, um, signifying fall as we're driving down the road, but that, we don't see that today. Um, what we see are maple trees that their leaves are splotches of brown because fungus are growing on them. This, ha this is happening because we have an increase in rainfall this fall. Um, and with so much moisture in the air, so much moisture on the ground and on the trees, this is um, increasing the growth of fungus on the leaves, which are making the maple tree leaves fall uh, prematurely. Um, this is also happening to other trees. So the, the fall coloring of the um, of Connecticut's trees are being destroyed by this fungus. I hadn't really noticed anything until I heard about the fungus um, with the leaves going on and how it's uh, bringing the foliage a lot sooner than it should be. Like I noticed driving on Route 6 every day, I commute to school. I uh, noticed on Route 6 that it, uh, the foliage came a lot sooner this year and the leaves fell a lot sooner. And I know like I'm going up north this weekend and the foliage is already way passed over and I thought that it would definitely still be there. They have like a, uh, like a map of the northeast and it tells you when the peak weeks were and if it's already passed. Every state in the Northeast is pretty much past its peak except for Connecticut. The fungus that's affecting the trees in Connecticut is not prominently seen on the leaves themselves. It is affecting the chemical makeup of the actual trees, causing the color progression of the leaves to either speed up or not happen at all. And this fungus is still prevalent in Connecticut um, from the past. It's been here for a while, but we just see this um, in increase in the growth of fungus um, this year, and this has happened in other years. Um, if this happens for a prolonged period of time, this can affect the, tree, the tree's growth and ultimately um, kill the tree if it's happened over a number of years. But I don't see this happening. I just see this uh, as a one-year occurrence. But if we do have increased rainfall over a certain amount of time, this could really have repercussions on our forest, bad re repercussions. With this year's foliage season coming to an end, we can only hope that the situation next year with the fungus only can improve. I'm Gina Bullard, leaving you from News 22.